Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Sunset Tarot. Now this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now let's try to see what is the main energy at the end of the day. Okay, we have here the Emperor. You are presently in your elements. You know what you want and you know how to get it. You know what direction you are going through and you are efficiently moving towards that goal. Now, you have very good boundaries also. You know how to protect yourself from people who might want to take advantage of your position and at the same time also you know how to balance between um, giving service and not being taken care of uh, taken advantage of okay so it's something like that you have good boundaries you you serve people but at the same time you don't allow people to take advantage of your generosity so somehow you are able to create a certain space uh, a respectful distance also from from people so that uh, you will not be taken advantage of so the only the only thing that we could see from the card that you might need to give attention to is that uh, everything is made of concrete okay so you need to put nature closer to your to your to you you need or you need to put yourself closer to nature when you look at the card there are no trees there are no plants and even the animals are what you see are skeletons of the animals so um, you need to put nature you need to put yourself also closer to nature so um, maybe take some short breaks short walks in nature in between your work or maybe put a plant on your working table or maybe uh, yes put some plants in your room or in your house or allow yourself also to to take moments of relaxation in the midst of nature so in between your work take some time for a short breather uh, to be in touch with nature for a while uh, as you can see here yeah that's the thing that you need to give attention to <clears throat> maybe you are too involved with work the word rest comes also so uh, you need to take some moments of rest maybe uh, there is a tendency maybe for you to just work and work uh, and the, that aspect of rest and being close to nature and also being close to the people you love might be uh, overlooked you might be also your boundaries might be also too strong that uh, you no longer have uh, an opportunity to be close to those whom you consider important in your life so there might be a need for you to balance between work and leisure or work and rest so just be aware of that so that you'll be able to strike the balance when you look at here unlike the, uh, the other the kings in the cards here when you look at the emperor it's it's devoid of nature so and uh, yeah the, the animals are skulls instead of live animals so yeah you need to maybe this uh, this card is telling us maybe you need to balance your life a little bit between work and rest uh, work and also time for people whom you consider important and also work and being close to nature uh, to bring nature into your working area can be also very important or for you to take short breaks from your work in order to just be in union with nature now let's try to see how this will further unfold 
you know immediately when I saw the page of swords it's like somebody will come your way somebody younger who will be like an understudy okay for some of you it's like that somebody who's interested in what you are doing and the word inspired is also coming somebody who is inspired by what you are doing will might be placed under your guidance or under your tutelage okay that's the word that comes um, this person is I feel like the universe is going to entrust this person to you well the phrase comes take good care of this person okay um, this person will not only learn from you but you will also learn from this person okay so it's going to be a mutual relationship uh, more of a mentor student kind of relationship a uh, teacher student type of relationship but it's a mutually beneficial one okay so for some of you the universe will entrust somebody who is very curious somebody who's very inquisitive somebody who is full of energy uh, very much interested in what you're doing okay now this might not apply to everyone but for some of you it will a person very interested will come your way now another message that comes to me also based on this card is that you need to acquire the energy of the page of swords okay so that you can counterbalance the seriousness of the emperor you need to go out to nature just like here the page of swords you need to spend short moments of rest to go out to nature and have that inquisitiveness of the page of sword that willingness to learn something new maybe something that you've always wanted to learn but because you're so busy you don't have any more time to discover these things so yeah for some of you the second message is to acquire the spirit of the page of swords somebody who's interested to learn new things somebody who's curious somebody who's who is not afraid to commit mistakes okay something like that uh, to regain the youth that you might have lost because of the seriousness of the responsibility you are holding at this time okay so to regain that youthful side of you okay so that's the second message now let's try to see what is the advice of the universe for us okay <clears throat> i think this is related to the very strong armor that you have maybe the universe is telling us the strong armor can be an indication of a certain insecurity that you have at this moment so for some of you the word of insecurity in health maybe the distancing from others is the fear of contracting contracting an illness for some of you it is related to your capacity to perform things you overperform because there is a certain insecurity with our ability to get things done however the reality is that you are really really very efficient and you shouldn't you shouldn't doubt your gift the pentacle here you see here the pentacle is like you are being weighed down by something very heavy maybe yeah the the pressure of perf of performing might be leading you to overperform to the point that it is already detrimental to your well-being so be careful there is a tendency for you to overwork and to over analyze things for some of you you are trying to protect your emotions also protect your health also i think this one the two pentacles on the feet somehow is sort of like you're trying to protect yourself also from discomfort from illness and everything like that so 
there are certain insecurities that you might have at this present time that you need to give attention to and you need to because these insecurities somehow makes you wear too much armor uh, uh, over to overbear yourself with too much things so um, the important thing here is to somehow be aware of these insecurities and if you can give attention to it or uh, work on it to work on these insecurities then things will be much better for you maybe to have that spirit of adventure of the yeah, page of swords we're in you're not afraid to commit mistakes you're not afraid to uh, to exp to <clears throat> to just go into that that sense of adventure that feeling of adventure uh, not to be afraid uh, to take some calculated risks every once in a while no? uh, but to balance also between uh, your analysis also you, you know how it is uh, calculated risks you you're not afraid to take risks but at the same time also you don't put yourself into unnecessary danger okay so it's like that you you have that sense of adventure but at the same time also you are wise enough to know when it's not safe for you to be in such a situation okay so it's like that a, um, a balance between uh, analysis and also uh, not being paralyzed by too much analysis so it's like that sometimes uh, yeah, the armor that you wear is actually uh, a cover up for some insecurities that you might need to give attention to at this time. Okay, let's now go to Insights at Twilight. Okay, for our Insights at Twilight, it says here, Lay of the Land, Ancestral Wisdom. I think it is related between the mentor and student kind of relationship. What I feel also is it's not only for the person that is going to be placed under your care. It's something about you being a student to your ancestors. You are now, you're now right now very, very successful, at least in the aspect wherein you are very much involved at this present moment, that somehow you are also somehow maybe be, being given a warning to learn from your ancestors. It can be that your ancestors also have been very effective in the past but to the detriment of something like their health or maybe detriment to their relationships or they were so busy getting things done that they never really were able to enjoy pursuing their passions. So listen to the wisdom of your ancestors also. Maybe at this time your ancestors are trying to give you signs, maybe in your dreams, maybe in the situations that you are encountering. Or those elders that are still alive can be also. So when you look at look the ancestors, not only those who have died, but also those who are alive, those who are a little older or more experienced than you are they may might be trying to tell you something with regards to your present life situation that you might need to listen to so listen to the wisdom of those who are older listen to your be receptive to your inner realm also because 
it can be ancestors that are that have already gone ahead of you just be aware of this you might need to listen to those who are older than you are with regards to some things related to your present life situation okay so listen now it can be also that you are also imparting already something to the generations to come so be open also maybe a troublesome younger younger person might be placed under your care and that your wisdom might be very helpful to this younger person the generation to come or the generation that follows you something like that the, 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 the message that message comes right now so you can be also the elder person about to guide somebody your wisdom can share also can guide also some somebody and um, at the same time when we look at it um, yes your wisdom can help somebody but at the same time you can also gain wisdom from those who are ahead of you now cosmic womb the divine feminine you see here the card of the emperor is highly masculine you are you're highly efficient you might need to counterbalance it with the feminine energy the womb makes me think of nature you need to spend more time with nature you might be yes very much engrossed in your working space uh, that you are no longer as m in touch with nature as you used to in the past so you need to go back to the womb of nature take some leisurely walk in between places that you are going to or maybe in between work when it's break time take the break time and go for a walk outside be close to nature but also watch where you're crossing i don't know why it came okay uh be careful when you go out for walks also i think it's it's related to you still thinking of your work while you're walking that uh you might have little miss little accidents like you know not being too attentive when crossing a street or not being too attentive when walking in a path so leave the present moment that, okay that's the phrase that comes to me when you go out for walks in nature live in the present moment don't take your work in your strolls or don't take your work with you as you walk leave it behind let your subconscious mind work on it when you come back then things will be fresher and you'll be able to handle the problem much more or much better okay so just be aware of that uh, going back to nature also and counterbalance your masculine energy which is that energy is capable of getting things done counterbalance it with the feminine word the feminine you know the word creativity comes to me with feminine creativity with uh, that feminine energy of learning to nurture oneself okay that's the message that i could get at this moment i hope that it has been beneficial for you thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing i hope to see you again soon until that time May God continue to bless your ways.